So these are the ATL bundles. They are super lightweight. And if you take a look at it, there is a white stripe on it. So the white stripe means that is the top of the bundle. So you want to make sure like when you're installing those, that goes up. So if we kind of take a look at the pipe on the inside, it's just like this plastic pipe that is perforated. There is actually holes in there. And then the outside is just wrapped in this like fabric stuff. So the way it works is the effluent actually goes into these pipes uh, from the septic tank. And then so the wastewater basically goes through the perforated holes and then sticks to the fabric on the outside. So the bacteria stick to the outside and then basically clean the wastewater. When you use this type of system, it actually produces more of a cleaner effluent from your septic system. So the benefits of using this ATL system is that it's more of a treatment bed. So again, like you're going to have like cleaner wastewater that actually comes from it. Uh, you would use this type of system when you would have, say, like a high water table um, and need more of a pump up system. So you can use this because it uses less sand. So you can actually be closer to the water table. So you don't have a huge hump in your yard like you would like a typical like filter bed, uh, which is why a lot of people like to use them. You would also use this type of system if you have poor soil conditions. So um, maybe more clay like more silt in your soil. Um, and those type of systems typically, or those type of beds typically would need more of a mantle, which is like an extra 50 feet of sand on the end of the bed. So with the ATL system, you don't actually need the mantle, uh, which is nice. So that's another reason why people tend to use the ATL systems. So they are lightweight, easy to use. Um, so when you install them, you need nine inches of sand underneath, uh, under each of the bundles. And then you actually need nine inches of sand that goes right up to the top. And then when you install it, basically you just want that white stripe showing at the very top. So as you can see, this is us like installing uh, the last row of our ATL system. Um, so we had five rows of five ATLs. So that's basically 50 feet in length uh, for each row. So you wanna make sure that they are level in each row. And then of course, if you see over to the left of the screen, there's that white pipe sticking out of the ground. That is uh, gonna be exposed and basically that's where we kind of go around each year and kind of test the effluent coming from the ATL to ensure that the system is working correctly. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. And also if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.